And then talking about um, crazy things that have happened, obviously to end this and then carry on to the comedy comedy news because obviously that's what most of you are here for. I'm sure most of you have seen this crazy final thing that's obviously going to put an end to this absolutely diabolical affair, especially for the family. The, the verdict is in. Alex Jones. Alex Jones, the verdict is in. Alex Jones is ordered to pay nearly a billion dollars to the victims of Sandy Hook. A jury in Connecticut awarded damage to the families of eight victims killed in a 2012 shooting and an FBI agent who responded to the scene. Jones has already been fined liable for defamation after he spent years falsely describing the shooting. This might be the greatest edgelord moment of all time, the greatest conspiracy moment of all time, and now he's having to pay for it in the biggest way possible. Nearly a billion dollars he has to pay out in damages, mate. Crazy. Obviously, none of that's going to make up for the fact that he, he said what he said, he did what he did, he put the families through what they went through, and obviously the families have lost their kids and stuff. It's never going to bring them back. But for the sake of just hey, we need to kind of root this nonsense out so no one makes this mistake again and no one kind of desecrates the memory of flipping dead children. This is a good message to send. Really is a good message. And again, it doesn't matter if they don't get the money anytime soon. The fact that he's going to be put into some level of financial ruin because of this nonsense that he was spreading is going to be a good thing. But as a somewhat casual fan of the guy from a while ago, it really is sad to see him go down this way because he just he just kind of got too close to the fire he decided to kind of run with this thing and it was a weird at the time i remember it being such a weird heel to die on just because it was children involved i just couldn't understand it like it's children involved why not just like let this one lie there's loads of other things that he was talking about that people and again this is also tragic also if you think about it because this is around the time where people started to kind of warm to him a little bit. I started to say, you know what, even though he's crazy and he's talking about lizard people, there is some truth to what he's talking about. But the moment he started to go after the Sandy Hook victims, I felt like this is when he um he flipping kind of lost it for me in that regard. That's when he sort of lost it. When he started going after them, I think that's where he kind of lost it. And he never really reined it in. He never really apologized. He kind of, he kind of did and kind of didn't. There was a whole thing about him saying he's a character and it's all a show. Then he kind of doubled down. He never really kind of sorted it out in a in a kind of um, in an adult and mature way. So it, it had to only end this way. And it really is, yeah. it's pretty impressive that he's still around, still streaming. To be honest, with this kind of looming over your head, he must. I've, I've always said it before. I think. Most people have also probably theorized this. I'm not the only one. He probably has some very wealthy benefactors in the background who don't want to be named or or seen anywhere near him who basically keep him operational because it, I don't think he's able to kind of keep the lights on just from selling flipping vitamins and shit. It, I don't believe so. There has to be other people in the background who are sympathetic to his message and to what he wants to do and they kind of want to keep him about. But... I don't know if they're going to be sympathetic to flipping $965 million in damages. That's a little bit crazy. Do you know what I mean? That's a little bit crazy. Really a little bit crazy. Um, but yeah, was this, it's a shot on all of us. We to, Who's Aaron said? It's a shot on all of us that we will take all our rights since when bring wrong saying something illegal. I'm all for free speech to say what you want. But like I said, I, I don't know, man. There has to be a line. There needs to be a line. And maybe going after the family of dead children who just died in a school shooting probably isn't the best one to go, to go at, in my opinion, anyway. especially not the way he did it. That's the only thing that I have to say about that kind of stuff. I understand free speech and need for it, but there has to be a way um, to kind of make it make sense in that regard so that you're not flipping, desecrating the memory of flipping dead children. It just doesn't make any sense for me. Um, but yeah, as we just said, yeah, exactly. Free speech doesn't mean free of consequences. But yeah, what a crazy, crazy way to end it. And if 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 you ever need validation that he definitely is in a deep end, because I I definitely do think at one point Alex Jones was a good dude. Then for whatever reason, maybe because he got chewed up and spat out by the establishment, 
maybe because he legitimately went crazy or whatever happened something changed in him he turned into a pretty unlikable person and this is another instance of him being pretty unlikable this is him live streaming the actual verdict i don't know why he wasn't in court when the verdict was read maybe he wasn't meant to be in there i'm not really too sure but he's in his studio live streaming as a verdict is being read and look at what he's saying in from remington ain't gonna be happening ain't no money We award damages to each plaintiff and against Alex Jones and Freeze. I killed the kids, folks. I think. Number one, Jesus Christ. Damages. Instructions. Fill in both numbers for each plaintiff. Then go to now remember, I'm in bankruptcy. We got two years of appeals. The money you donate does not go to these people. It goes to fight this fraud and it goes to stabilize the company. They want us shut down. That's why the. the, the, the now it's a us. Now it's a us against them. Like, this is pure cult mentality, isn't it? Now he's trying to turn it into us against them. Let's fight against the tyrannical counterculture, that mob. Like, brother, you went after dead kids' families. Like, you just have to take this one on the chin. The ambulance chasers did this. Why they use these families. So, saveinfowars.com. We're fighting Goliath. We'll win because of you. Saveinfowars.com. Infowarstore.com. Double Patriot points, 10% off at 1776 right now at Infowarstore. But you see, you want somebody to fight for you? I'm doing it. And you Imagine. This is this is the peak of like the era we're living in at the moment, right? A verdict has been read out for him desecrating the memory of these dead children. The families are in court weeping. He's live streaming his show and he's promoting saveinfowars.com with a fucking discount code and a promotion that's currently going on at the moment. And a little ad read in the middle of this. Like <laughs> You see what they do. So you want we want to fight? That's fine. It's your decision. But that's where we are. That's the whacked out system of the left. Did, did we hit a billion guys? In from Remington. Oh, God almighty, man. God almighty. Andrew W. Yeah, free speech doesn't necessarily... I don't know. For me, we're not going to get to a long free speech, free speech debate because I'm neither smart enough or care enough for it. But it's never been about freedom. Free. It's never been about being free of consequences. You can say what the hell you want. You've always been able to say what the hell you want. But how people react to it, you can never, you're never in charge of it or you can never control how they react to it, which is of course a consequence. Um, nowadays, obviously, they make the price of saying what you want to say really high, as we've seen with these celebrities, as we've seen with Kanye. Kanye says some very racy things. Kanye is very powerful and influential in his own way. And still the powers that be have said, no, 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 no more saying that stuff. No social media for you, no banking for you. So clearly there's a price to pay for saying what you want. But it's always been like that. It just matters how much you care about free speech. Are you willing to risk your ability to bank to have free speech? Are you willing to risk your ability to live in certain places to have free speech? Are you willing to risk your entire career to have free speech? Because if a, if a Hollywood actor came out today and had some really racy things to say about trans people or to say about gay people, or to say about abortion you're done for the most part that is freedom of speech but it's not freedom for consequences because unfortunately the world we live in now no one really tolerates you kind of going away from the accepted sort of like um speech of viewpoint on these topics it's annoying and it's an it's annoying wherever it may be but i also think that's maybe the reason why we're seeing these platforms like rumble popping up and stuff and becoming a little bit more prominent because i remember when parlor was around it didn't really work because people were necessarily that involved in it. But now I feel like Rumble has kind of built on the success or the failures of Parler. And now people are more gravitating towards it because people have had enough of being sort of like muzzled or being told they can't think a certain way or think or say a certain thing. Do you know what I mean? Maybe. So maybe with this confusion, you're going to see most of those, um, you're going to see a lot more of those platforms start to pop up all over the place because it'd be interesting to see I'm, I'm interested to see if we actually do get a proper competition to twitter proper competition to instagram proper competition to facebook where you can actually say and do what you actually want and let it fly because that will make for a far better i think and far more interesting society to live in <laughs> you go on these platforms you see people saying the most insane things that you've never ever seen because we need it because in real life that's what happens in real life you have family members who say some you know you go to your family members homes and christmas and stuff and your uncles are saying some pretty insane stuff that you probably don't hear around your you know your liberal friends this happens in real in real in the real world so why not have it in the digital world it's sort of like nerfing of flipping social media has always been annoying to me anyway